Apple Top Episode 2. These videos I'm doing to help you to be able to analyze any market that has a double top. I have done Episode 1 that was very, very informative. So if you have not watched Episode 1, kindly go and watch Episode 1, okay? So in this double top, uh, in this Episode 2, we are going to learn about how to enter the market. Once you have a, uh, analyzed the double top, you have known everything uh, It's happening, how do you now enter once you get this uh, trade? So for double top, daily, weekly, and monthly, the strategy is called WBB. So WBB strategy is for daily. Listen carefully because I want you to understand uh, and be able to implement weekly and monthly, okay? So that is the WBB is daily, weekly, and monthly. So those are the double top. Uh, for the daily, weekly, and the monthly, we use WBB strategy. So remember, guys, when I told you that anytime you have a strategy, you need an entry, you need a target, and you need an exit, okay? So any a very good strategy, it needs these three things. That's how you vet a very good strategy. So first, we need to understand what is WBB strategy, okay? So what is WBB strategy? WBB strategy is a short form of weight box break. And this WBB strategy, the reason why weight box break, the reason why I came up with this strategy is because it has three entry signal that you need to, to see, entry signal that you need to see for you to place your trade. So number one signal, if you are waiting for a double top and you have spotted a double top, you wait for a, a red candle. Remember double tops, you're looking for sell. Wait for red candle. Number two. So number two, you wait for. Check if it's a bearish angle. And then number three, if not WBB. So WBB in this case is where you put the box. So for instance, let me do it practically. For instance, you had this double top. So the market has a double top like that. So you have double top like this. And this is your neckline. This is where episode one we reached, that is our half. So once you identify this double top, this entry signals are three. You will wait for a red candle. So this market, as it was going up, these are green candles going up. So it has activated your double top. So once the double top has been activated, you'll be waiting for a red candle. So this red candle, once it happens and it closes, we are now looking, is this red candle, check if it's a bearish angle. So, there are two scenarios. You can have a bearish angle like that. If you have a bearish angle, you will reach number two. You won't go to number three. If it's a bearish angle, and bearish angle, I mean it has covered the green candle, you will put a cell. And in this case, the cell will go up to here, the half. So if it's a bearish angle, fine. If it's not a bearish angle, it will be like a, a red candle that is looking like that, that has not engulfed. So you have a candle like that. If it is like that, you do number three. If not, WBB come and place box. That is what we are saying. So you wait for a red candle, the same red you check. So you are not interfering with three. You check if it's a bearish angle. So we are checking if it's bearish angle cell. If not a bearish angle, you put the box. So we will put the box to the the everything of the candle, the wick, the body, everything. And then you'll be waiting for the box to break like that. So you will wait for another red candle to break like that. So if another candle breaks now, this is what we say WBB has happened and the market is selling. If it was just a bearish angle, you enter immediately, you don't wait for the second candle, okay? So let's try and see what happened here. 
So here we have an activation of our double top. So in this case, this is our first attempt. That's our first attempt. And this one is our second attempt. Can you see? This one is our second attempt. So we have first attempt, second attempt, okay? So first attempt, second attempt. So what are we doing here? We will use WBP strategy. The first signal is to wait for the red candle. So I will do like that. I wait for the red candle. We have said, if you wait for the red candle, you check if it's bearish angle. If this is a red candle you have seen, you, you check if it's a bearish angle or if it's not a bearish angle, you do WBP put a box. So if we check this, a red candle to this green candle has it engulfed our green candle it has engulfed this green candle you can see it has engulfed let me not put the box not to confuse you that red candle has engulfed so automatically we are selling up to where we are selling up to here imagine that is 74 pips 74 pips for any beginner if you have not watched episode one just pause, go to episode one so that you can understand what you are saying. So you'll come to long position, short position, sorry, and you put your, your 74 pips. Stop loss use ATR because sometimes market may try to come in and uh, stop you out to this uh, high. Sometimes you may see a very big week just coming to stop people. That's why I highly suggest you use ATR, average true range to uh, to be able to know where your stop loss will be. So you can imagine this is a trade that we have entered and we are believing for 74 pips. This one, even if you go and pray, God can answer those prayers. This is where now you can pray and God can answer those prayers. So after the following day you come, the market has started to almost hitting the TP and the market is not hitting your take profit. You can imagine how many days did we stay before the TP was hit. Immediately, we had a bearish angle. The market gave us 48 pips, but we ranged. You can imagine you have this trade for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is one week. So we entered here one, two, three, four, five. That's a whole week, one, two, three. So one week and a half waiting for 74 pips. Imagine, and there was zero retracement. You can see this is a zero retracement. If you had done like 10 lots, you'd have made $7,000. $7,000, it's almost a million in Kenya shillings. So imagine you're being told, wait for like less than 10 days, less than two weeks to make a million. It's viable. So here, you'd have made so much. That money is 75 pips. So in the next episode, I will be teaching you because I don't want to mix everything. I'll be teaching you how do you now target. Remember, this was our target up to the half. How do you target half to the neckline and the challenges that are there? Because you might see this is an obstacle. Can you see this is an obstacle? You might be thinking, oh, the market will make a double bottom. What if it makes this double bottom? What should I do? Because that is an obstacle that is seen. you can see. So this is a, a, an obstacle that you're seeing. So how do you trade up to the neckline? In the next video, that's what we are going to discuss. But I believe everyone now has, having seen this double top, you can be able to trade it. And if at all you want to practice double top, I have already done a video with Audi CHF. I think it's Audi, is it Audi CHF? Or which I have done a video with. Was it NZDCHF? Let me see if it's out the CHF. It has a double top. Yes, it's out the CHF. So if you want to practice what we have just done, it's exactly go and check. This is out the CHF. And it has, it's exactly what I have taught you right now. So the market has given us a sell opportunity. So go and watch that video on how to trade. Uh, OPT, it's OPT, and you will see what I, I said. So go and try to trade this trade. So there's a double top here. So the thing is the market can either come here and give us the, the profit, 
or it can create a cup and handle. So in the next video, in the next episode, we will be discussing all this. So these are very good example because if you go to weekly, we don't have that double top is OPT. So observe this, try to, to do this by yourself. So you might see this double top is violated. And if it is violated, you'll know that cup and handle has entered. So in those episodes that I'll be doing, you'll be able to know why I'm saying that. So there's a chance the market can either go up or down. But if we can check, when the market gave us a red candle here, it didn't engulf. So where I was telling you, the market can either engulf or give you, doesn't engulf. So when it didn't engulf, it broke that box. And it went, how many pips? It went 33 pips. But the thing is, it has not reached half. So the question is, will this market reach half? This is how this HF current market. Okay, guys. So that is something that I need to uh, really tell you. Uh, I had forgot to do this disclaimer, and I will still do it. Don't fall for scammers who are pretending to be me. If you want to come to reach to me, use this number. If you want any course, I offer a course that is $1,000. I'm charging $1,000 that comes with 12 modules, 10 profitable strategies. If you want to purchase one strategy, it's $100. So don't be scammed out there by people impersonating to be me. Be cautious. Only use this number to contact me, okay? So in the next episode, we'll be looking where once the market hits, I think that double double top was around here. Once the market reach half, what happens? Once the market reach half, so we have seen the market coming to half, and we got seventy five pips. What happens when the half is broken? Or what do you do when the half is broken? Anyway, all the best, guys. See you in the next.